Hello, this is teacher Stephanie and this is a very quick, uh, very basic, basic how to with Manicam. Um, if you use it in your classroom, this isn't going to really um, show how to use it in the classroom. Um, it's just going to show how to um, how to uh, open it up and use effects and uh, download effects and add effects if you would like to add your own as well. So once you download Manicam, um, I use the free version. I don't use anything that's paid for. You'll have a little icon that looks like this. Um, you can have it on your desktop, you can pin it to your taskbar, or you can just get it in your start menu, however you would like to. Um, so I already have that open and have it, I have my webcam aimed at my ceiling because I am uh, not dressed right now, I'm in pajamas. Uh, but anyway, so this is what your Manicam will look like. Uh, I do not use the newest version. Um, I, uh, there've just been a lot of issues with a lot of um, updates. Um, since I started using it so I tried one of the newer ones which isn't even the newest right now I think it was 6.1 I think they might be on 6.2 or 3 now um, but I did not like it um, I you know I had the the crashes and the you know closing automatically so this is actually 5.5 uh, .5 or 5.7 I believe 5.7 um, and I've had no issues with this one um, I just you know it works well it works fine um, so this is the one I stick with if you want to download this one you just need to go to uh, manicam.com and go to um, past downloads it'll be on the or past versions it'll be on the exact same download page it's just near the bottom somewhere so anyway once you um, have your manicam open um, and downloaded and all that good stuff um, I'm just going to show you how to add effects quickly so if you go to uh, manicam's um, effects um, section on their website, which you can just quickly find it by typing in Manicam effects. Um, you can download ones that are already made, like a lot of the face masks, um, a lot of the, um, like some strange stuff like this, <laughs> borders, <laughs> anything um, that you want. If you want to find something that you don't see, you just type in search. Maybe I want, um, you know, stars. Uh, VIP gets all about stars. Let's see if we can find some stars on the website. Type in stars, a whole lot will pop up here that you can download um, so say I want the stars border all I have to do is click download and when I do that this will start blinking and it will automatically show me that I have something new this one would go into borders of course so then I would go into my borders and it would be there and I would see it and I could start using it immediately um, let's say I just you know got a small image not a border I wanted these two stars if I download these um, it'll start blinking again. I'll go right in here and it will be in my objects. Usually the, the PNG images and stuff will go into objects. Um, when I click in here and I find it, I will only have one. But let's say I need multiples. If I need multiples, all I need to do are repeatedly um, download them. As you can see, I've got five coins here. Um, so I can use, you know, just a coin reward. When I do this, um, if I just keep hitting the download and keep opening it up, I'll have five separate images. You can't duplicate them once they're in Manicam. You have to just download it more than once and then, you know, have more than one. There are my rainbow stars. I've got the same thing for those. All right, so sometimes you can't find what you need on um, the Manicam website that's already there. So I use this a lot because I make custom um, reward systems for a lot of my students. Um, so this is the create effect um, section. All I do to find um, images is I'll go to Google and let's say I want pizza. I wanna build a pizza, that's a fun one. Pizza PNG. When I do this, I get all kinds of different pizzas that are already ready for me. So if I want, you know, a whole pizza, um, then I would just select one of these. I actually have one where you can put different toppings on. Sometimes you've got to search for a little while. Sometimes you don't get it right away. But all I would have to do is, you know, click on the one that I like. Go ahead and you can see the little background back here, these little checks. You know that it doesn't have a white background. It has these. It's actual, you know, PNG, it's a clip art, whatever. So you just save as, save it as whatever, you know, name you want. Um, pizza featured pops up, but you know, save it as whatever you want. And then when I go into here, I didn't save mine, so I'm not gonna be able to find that exact one. When I go into here, I can type in, I've already got some pizza, so I'm just gonna click on one of those. I can, uh, these are my toppings. I can click on the one that I want. I can open it up. 
and it will be here. Now, the other thing people ask me about a lot is resizing. You can't resize images once you save them, so make sure you save them to the size you want. I don't want peppers taking up my whole screen. I want them tiny, so I'm just gonna make them the size that I need, put it wherever I want. It's important to put things where you want because when you open it up, you can move it around, sure, but when you open it up, it's gonna go wherever you put it. So on my make a pizza, my pizza's down here, so when I made all of mine, I made all of the toppings right here. So when I open it up in Manicam, I don't have to move it, I don't have to worry about it, it just pops up right where it's supposed to. So after I do that, I would just name it, you know, green peppers or whatever I want to name it, something I can look up easily in case I need to type it in. Uh, because in mine, I've got tons and 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 tons of effects. So it's important that I can look it up quickly. I'd probably actually call this pizza green peppers so I could just type in pizza and find all of them. But anyway, after I did that, if I just hit download right here, then it would do the same thing it does when you download one from the website it would start blinking right here I would go into objects I would open it and then it would be able to be used so let me type in pizza because that's where all mine are pizza 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 and then teacher Stephanie eats a slice after they make this beautiful delicious looking pizza and the kids love it so I make things like this all the time um, whenever my kids tell me they want to do things I have pizzas I've built a cake I have um games that we play. I have uh, I have lots and lots of really specific things. I have plants versus zombies for a student. I have um, ghosts for a student. I have uh, bear bricks, which I did a lot of searching to find out what those were because she did not know the name. She just showed me a figure. Um, so I have a lot, a lot of custom things, but that's how I make them. They're just little PNG images that I looked up online and I just created them myself and then opened them up. And um, like I said, if you want more than one, just went in here, say, same thing I would just hit download more than once you don't even have to like put the image back in just effect name download 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 every time you click the download and then open it up in here you have um, another image so you can get multiples of things if you need um, multiples so that is how you upload images or search for images um, on the Manicam website and then use them in your classroom. All right, I hope that that was helpful. Like I said, just basic, basic, nothing fancy. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them. And if it's something that uh, I can do, then I'm happy to explain. Although, like I said, I don't get super crazy fancy with mine. I don't have time for that. I'm trying to teach. So I do, you know, the basic stuff. The kids love it and we're good. And that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.